Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a really fun video that I've been wanting to do for so long and I've seen this trend on YouTube a lot lately and figured, you know what? I need to do this. I need to share my opinions with the world and these celebrities that are doing their skin routine. Today we are going to be judging Kehlani's everyday skincare routine. The title of the video is Everyday Skincare Routine and Guide to a Glowing Face. So Vogue does these little snippets of celebrity skincare routines and today we're choosing Kehlani's. I personally love Kehlani. I think she's a pretty real chick and hopefully her skincare routine is real good. Otherwise, I'll be disappointed. One quick disclaimer, I am a certified professional esthetician. I have my license and all that good stuff. So these are just my professional opinions and views. Some other people, even professionals, may have other ideas on what's good and what's not, but I'm not trying to hate on anyone's skin routine, especially Kehlani, because like I said before, I love her. This is just for entertainment purposes and to give you guys some insight on what you can be using in your skincare routine that might be good for you because I know a lot of us see a celebrity endorse a product or use a product and we automatically think that we can use it too but that is not the truth and I'm going to be dissecting every little bit of her skincare routine okay let's get started Kehlani what you have for us mama Hi, this is Kehlani and I'm gonna walk you through my everyday skin routine and my very basic everyday glowy like, face. Look how bomb she looks. So the first time. step, it's a creamy cleanser. Um, I like oh. this a lot because I have- Okay, automatically, 15 seconds in, this is PCA skincare. I actually use this in my treatment room all the time. I love their chemical peels and their products. They're an amazing professional grade skincare line. And creamy cleanser, sensitive skin. Yes. Really, really dry skin, so I kind of need something that's like hydrating and doesn't leave me feeling all tight and gross. Little circles, you know, you know the vibes. Perfect. All right. So everyone used to say that they want that tight, squeaky clean feeling. And it's not a good feeling. That's not what your skin should feel like after cleansing your skin. It shouldn't feel stripped. It shouldn't feel dry. It shouldn't feel squeaky like you've just scrubbed a bar soap on your skin. It should feel nice and soft, supple, bouncy. So let's look at the ingredients of this specific cleanser because this is not usually one that I use. I use a different one from PCA. So let's just look at their ingredients to dissect. I'm looking at the ingredients. I see some rose hip seed oil, sunflower seed oil, yucca extract, aloe vera, which is like so great in skincare. It's such an underrated product nowadays. And you can even drink aloe vera. It's good for your body, good for your skin, everything. These are some really, really good conditioning ingredients, which makes sense why she's using it for her sensitive and dry skin. We also have some fatty alcohols, which is great. You want to stay away from like stripping alcohols. So some alcohols that you want to stay away from are like ethanol, isopropyl alcohol. Those are non-fatty alcohols that will actually strip the skin. Some fatty alcohols that you can look for in toners and skincare that are really good for your skin and condition your skin are like acetyl alcohol, sterile alcohol. Those are really good emollients in skincare and they don't make you feel squeaky clean. Use this toner from Belief. I wish I so knew because I have dry skin, I have to make sure that I continuously, like in between each step, I just keep layering hydration. So my third step is just this like aqua bomb mist from Belief. Just a quick little like spray. All right, I have to look up this brand because I've never even heard of them. So far, I'm really liking this brand. Their philosophy seems pretty great. No like artificial ingredients, no sulfates or parabens, and it has some really good fatty alcohols, which we already know are really good emollients for the skin, and some really great like natural ingredients like the raspberry leaf extract, honeysuckle, rosemary, stuff like that. So I'm... I'm okay with this and it's a really good price the toner that she uses is only $28 so I like that she's using affordable products so that other people can actually access them and they're not like $300 
I also don't think toner is a necessary step in every single person's skin routine. I really only use toners to spot treat and when I'm really oily, but if you use a hydrating toner, it's really good in a mist form or you could just pat on your face every now and then and it could be really beneficial. You just have to make sure you're not stripping the skin too much. Dr. Dennis Gross, this stuff is great. I use this morning, night, all of it. So I'm gonna... I'm guessing this is a hyaluronic acid serum. I'm gonna lock all that. So it looks like she's using a Dr. Dennis Gross hyaluronic acid serum. This is obviously really great for dry and sensitive skin. Hyaluronic acid is a molecule that actually holds a thousand times its molecular weight in water, which means it's really good at retaining moisture in your skin. It's even better if you leave the skin a little damp and then put it on after. It'll suck in all the moisture and then actually attract extra moisture and water molecules into the skin keeping your skin really hydrated. And with an essence, and mine is a snail mucin essence. I know that probably sounds funny. This is like a major key in Korean skincare. I don't know how to pronounce that brand, but I just call it the snail stuff. So snail essence is actually really big in skincare nowadays and especially Korean skincare. Korean skincare is known to be really clean, really safe and pretty effective for the skin. The snail essence is actually like the mucus from the snail and it also holds in a lot of water and is really good at conditioning the skin. And essence is a really great alternative to a toner as well. She's using them both, but if you didn't want to use a stripping toner, an essence is a really good alternative. I just take a couple drops just like this. See, it's really slimy. So my favorite is the Polish Choice Omega Complex Moisturizer, which is a big like barrier healer because I have problems with my skin barrier. And then I take my Bio Essence Vitamin C like rose oil. So I'm going to take like three little droplets of that and put it in my moisturizer because I'm super dry. Okay, so she went in with the Polish Choice Moisturizer. So this moisturizer looks like it has some omega-3s in it, which is really good for the skin. And even inside the body, if you take an omega supplement, it's really good at like balancing gut health and all that. Um, it has some really great emollients in it, like shea butter. It has squalene, which like she said, it's really good at repairing the barrier of your skin. If you have dry and sensitive skin, broken skin, even post-procedural skin, like after microneedling, Botox, um, procedures like that, that an esthetician or a dermatologist would perform on you, this is really great. Because if your barrier is compromised, it actually makes your water loss even higher. So in your skin, you have the trans epidermal water loss, also known as TEWL, and this actually releases moisture out of your skin. So you wanna help to lower that water loss and repairing your barrier on your skin is actually the best way to do that. So you're kind of locking in all that nutrients. And then she also went in with the Biosense, Bioessence Vitamin C Serum. It also has rosehip oil in it, which is really good at calming inflammation and really good for sensitive skin. And vitamin C is like a must in every single skin routine. It's so great morning and night. It helps with aging. It helps with collagen production. It helps with fighting off free radicals in the skin, which causes aging and cancers and all this bad stuff to happen in your skin. So it attacks all of those free radicals and really helps to strengthen the skin and is really great paired with a sunscreen. I started breaking out here, 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 and here, and here when I was pregnant. And um, so I had to use something that would balance my hormones. So I actually had to get an entire new set of a skin routine because I was just freaking out everywhere. And then after I had my baby, I feel like my skin just got a lot more dry. And I think it's just now bouncing back and getting back in the swing of things. And, you know, but I'm hydrating a lot more just internally in doing a lot of hydrating sleeping masks. So those are also a big secret and tip. Okay, so my last step is SPF. Okay, that's it for my skincare. Overall, I'm really proud of Kaylani. I am really happy with her skin routine. The PCA, um, the Dr. Gross, Polish Choice, Korean skincare, I love it all. Those options are really great professional lines that aren't like professional medic medical grade. 
So I really like those options, especially because they're pretty affordable. Everything was between like $28 and $50. So it's really affordable for other people to buy as well. And I like how she kept mentioning, I have dry, sensitive skin, and this is what I'm going to do to fix it. Because other people watching this, if she didn't say what kind of skin type she had, you know, you can go on there, say, Kaylani is using it, I'm going to use it too. And like I said before, I hate when people just follow along with what celebrities are using and doing to their face and treatments and all that because you don't know if you have the same like skin type as someone else. And that's the first step in figuring out a skincare routine and regimen is figuring out your skin type or having a consult with someone who can figure out your skin type. So I am really proud and happy of everything that she's using, the hyaluronic acid, the rose hip seed oil, vitamin C, a creamy cleanser. It's that's like magic to me. I'm not really interested in the face and the eyes as much. I mean, I could watch that on my own time, but I'm not going to judge that because I'm sure she's bomb at makeup. But overall, I give it like 9.7 out of 10. I would have liked if she added some massage in there and, you know, told us more about what she does to fix her breakouts and how she deals with that. But otherwise, A plus Kaylani, A plus. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed that, had a little laugh and was entertained and got some insight on what kind of skin conditions these celebs have and what they're using and how to dissect them and the ingredient deck and all that. So if you have any questions about any ingredients that we mentioned or any products, then just let me know in the comments below and let me know what reaction video you want to see next, who you want me to judge. Thanks guys, I'll see you next week.